Um, today is an extraordinary moment. It's extraordinary because it took the extraordinary vision of the founder, and today we have an extraordinary university at 10 years old. It's taking the extraordinary thirst for knowledge by young men and women, and we have an entry class. It's taking the extraordinary efforts by members of our community, faculty, staff, students, to make the university function. Most especially, let me ask the members of the admission team to stand. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the extraordinary young men and women who have been working the past six months to bring to you the extraordinary students that you, I'll be speaking to you about shortly. Thank you, uh, Ms. Mwasin Bea. Thank you, Ms. Yonodu Esun. Thank you, uh, Verse. Thank you, uh, Balte Mutara. Thank you, Usman. Thank you, Victor. Thank all of you. Please join me. Let's give them another round of applause. You may be seated. May I ask the class of 2018 to please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, there are a few things about this class that I would like to share with you. We started this search with uh, over 700 applications. They come from a very diverse background. We have about 17 states represented in Nigeria. We have some students transferring from other universities, including students from a university in the United States, students from Canada, and they are here with us. They are almost evenly split between men and women, as you can see. But other things interesting about this class, we have among them the winner of the inaugural Dr. Inyam Tui Fairness Scholarship for the highest scoring students on National Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board Examination. <laughs> Master Omotoshi Ifoloa from Oyo State. We have among them the female, the highest scoring female in Northern Nigeria, winner of the Dr. Nyamtu uh, Ifene Scholarship, among them. We have two winners of the Dr. Robert E. Pastor Scholarship for the most deserving uh, students entering AUN 2014. <laughs> Madam President, I hereby present to you candidates who have scored and met all the requirements for admission for acceptance as students of the American University of Nigeria for the class of fall 2014. There's one other student who inspires me. We assume students are 16, 17, 18. In this centering class, we have a member of the AUN staff, I believe the electrical department, who's worked for us for six years, who's saved and worked so hard so he can now get an AUN education. I welcome you. By the power vested in me by the AUN Board of Trustees, we welcome you to the American University of Nigeria. What a wonderful class. A big round of applause for them. Go ahead and sit, and I think we'll move to the, the pledge ceremony. So this pledge ceremony is an old tradition, a tradition from the United States, going back to Thomas Jefferson, who wrote our Declaration of Independence and was a founding father. He then went on to start the University of Virginia. And he started this tradition in America that was just with students to uphold a pledge, a code of honor. But AUN is not just a university of students. It's our faculty, it's our staff, it's our parents, it's our members of the board of trustees. It's one family. So let's now continue that tradition that we began four years ago, a community vow, a public commitment to ourselves, and to AUN and to our dreams of a better future. I ask you all to stand, please. May I ask you to repeat after me as we pledge to ourselves and to each other and to our community. Today I vow 
to seek and speak only the truth when everybody's a part of this and to demand of myself the absolute integrity that I have a right to expect of everyone at the American University of Nigeria. This I pledge for the sake of Nigeria, for the sake of Africa, for the sake of our futures, and in service to community and country with you and to you, my fellow members of the American University of Nigeria. Thank you, everyone. Please sit, except for this new entering class.